Okay, so today we're going to, I'm going to answer a question from one of the guys. My name is Freddie and I'm from Montreal. Hey, Montreal, awesome. Starting training BJJ last year at the age of 47 and I love it. I love to listen to your advice on judo. It's very interesting. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, uh, Freddy. I love martial arts and started late in my life. Uh, I realized that to improve my self-defense, BJJ does not excel in throws. And in your videos on judo injuries made me realize the risks of the sport. If I want to learn the most important or useful techniques in judo, till which belt or how many throwing techniques would I need to learn to have a good base? Thank you very much for the question. And uh, yeah, in regards to the belt, I would say you got to get to at least green belt, ideally blue. And you pretty much have all the basics covered, you know, and, and after that, it's just a question of practice. Like the more techniques you have, the better off you'll be, but you don't actually need that many. I would say you would need one for the front. When I say front, so you're throwing somebody this way and you would need a technique throwing the guy backwards. You would need a front technique, a back technique, and then from there, I would uh, definitely suggest a sweep, you know, for self-defense purposes, right? You might not want to go to the ground. So that, that's the only three things that you really need if you want to incorporate the minimum, I believe, like bare minimum, just so that you could uh, be functional, like uh, self-defense wise. There's a lot that goes into it to be able to actually uh, execute on these techniques. So you have to understand gripping, you have to understand uh, Kazushi, essentially the off balancing of somebody so that you could actually go in and throw them. And then after that, there's the uh, Uchikomi. So that's like the practicing of the entry techniques. Cause when you, when you Kazushi, you gotta essentially pull the guy, either you wanna bring him on his toes slightly. On the opposite end, if you get me up towards the back here, and right now I'm on my heels. From there, well, the throw itself, it's not that hard. You gotta practice, practice, practice. And of course you have to learn how to break fall. Congratulations, 47, starting BJJ, amazing job. Uh, it's great. I think it's fantastic that, uh, that you started, uh, you know, doing BJJ, uh, e even at, at any age, but even at that age, uh, I got a lot of respect for that. Just keep in mind that you really just want to find one, though, like three, three techniques. And there, there's ways to go about those techniques too, right? Because you just want to keep in mind, okay, so I want to look for, uh, I want to practice, you know, you'll be exposed to all of them. And then from there, you pick one front, one back, one sweep, you know? And then from there, you just practice uh, those as much as you possibly can. So there's, there's, uh, there's a thousand ways you could set it up. There's a thousand nuances to it and all. And you could combo those up too, you know? So you could be leg, uh, tap the guy's leg a little bit with your sweeps, doesn't work, pull him this way, pull him that way, boom, execute the throw. People have made careers out of just one technique in judo at the Olympic level. They're highly specialized. They got maybe, like I said, like two, three techniques and that's it. And then of course they understand how to do all the rest, but everything uh, will lead them, will bring them to those, uh, you know, their, their, their special technique. So I hope that made sense. Guys, let me know down below what you think. Uh, there's some of you guys here who, like I said, uh, I'm sure have thoughts regarding this. Do you, do you agree? Do you disagree? and uh, so on and so on, and that's it. So I'll see you guys in the comment section. Thank you very much, Freddy. And uh, hey, let's train when, uh, when all this is over with and we can. All right, peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing, guys. If you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.